Hi guys, it's Rob here from GamePit.co.uk and I just thought I would go through some of the older titles that I've got installed on my PlayStation 5 just to show you the gameplay um, and to basically promote games that you may not actually know exist. So today's first game that I'm going to be looking at is Transformers Battlegrounds. Now, you've clearly heard of XCOM. Everyone knows what XCOM is. Now imagine XCOM, but replace your characters with the Transformers. That's what Transformers Battlegrounds is. It's a more casual um, XCOM-like game suited for younger gamers, but also for more advanced gamers if you want to crank up the difficulty. Now I have completed the game and got the Platinum, but for some reason my save data hasn't transferred over from my PlayStation 4, so I'm just going to start a new game in slot 1. It's auto-saved, that's fine. So I'm just going to show you what the game is like, probably do one or two missions depending on how long they are, just so you can see for yourself how the game works, if it's something that you'll like, and um, you know if, if you want to pick it up or not. So we'll just take a quick look at the options first. So we are going to invert the camera. Um, da -da -da -da, we don't need to do any of these. And then this is good. It, it actually shows you the size of the interface as you adjust it. Just going to leave it on that one. Camera speed, cursor speed. We've got the audio volumes. Um, different languages. So English, French, Italian, German, um, Spanish, Japanese, I want to say. And is that... Um, is that Russian? Uh, I have no idea what that one is. Uh, Netherlands. Japanese or Chinese? Korean? Polish? And then English again. Yeah, so I've probably got some of those wrong, but if you see a language there that you need, then it's there. <laughs> right, there is a mission select and arcade mode. So I'm just going to do mission select. I may have a look at the arcade mode later. So we're going to do act one which is based in Shadow Falls. You can change the difficulty from easy, medium or hard. So I'm going to leave it on easy because I can't remember how you play the game because it's been a while. So Earth is under attack. As Decepticons rain from the sky, Autobot Bumblebee enlists the help of the last human in Central City, which I believe is you. So let's pick our squad. There you go. Um, right, so at the moment we've only got Bumblebee. But we can change his clothes, I think. Yeah, so Neon, Battle, Gold, Energicon, Ener I think that was. Uh, gold, Fire, or Default. What is it? Energicon. Energ Energon. Energon. I don't know. It's something like that. I'm going to put it on Neon. Um, I was gifted the Deluxe Pack by the publisher for review purposes of this game. So that's why I've got all these different costumes, or different skins even. Um, but you can buy them separately or you get them included in the deluxe pack as well. So we'll start the game as Neon. Human. Okay, so we're. I think the, the camera at the moment is from a point of view of us. So we were waiting at a bus stop, and now the Decepticon has come down and found us. And it's about to kill us. Oh no, there's Bumblebee. Whew. Close call. What are you doing here? Oh, a human fearlessly defying the city wide evacuation. Hell yeah, I'm waiting for my bus. Can you get him somewhere safe? Your wish is my command line. Um, dude, what are you doing? Hello. Whoa, okay. Teletrain X, that's straight up. <laughs> exactly. Safe from blaster fire and collapsing infrastructure. 
So this now gives context as to why we're looking down at the game from this angle. It's because we've been blasted into the air and we're just overlooking everything. Plus, the view is tremendous. Why, I can see numerous Decepticon forces marching right this way. I can't. What? Where? Uh, the city's a labyrinth. Yes, some guidance would be most useful. Perhaps our Earthling friend can assist you. Bit more context. Now we're guiding them and instructing them on what to do. Oh damn, he's got okay, back up. Okay, human. Bumblebee will follow your instructions. Where to go and what to do. Okay, that's nice of him. First, let's try a basic attack. This is the action bar. Here, you can view and equip abilities. To attack, equip blaster shot. Then, select your target. Okay, so like I said, it's like XCOM. So when you um, highlight your character, you can then move certain distances and whatnot. But let's just do what he says for now. So we press um, L1, is it? And then shoot the, the guy. That's easy enough. Shot. Each Autobot can attack only once per turn. So choose your target carefully. Yeah, so same as XCOM then. Now, let's try moving. You're free to move any time without an ability equipped. To move, select a tile within range. Right, so as Bumblebee, we can go... Oh, press circle first. Right, so within this um, diamond shape, we can go. I presume that this is where we can move and still attack. But if we go outside of that, then we can move further. But then you wouldn't be able to attack because it's going to use up both of your action points. Uh, for now, we don't need to worry about that because we don't need to attack anything. So let's just sure. move over here. Perfect. Every turn, each Autobot has three action points they can use to move and attack. Before performing an action, check how many points you're about to use under the cursor or next to the Autobot's picture. It's in the bottom left. That. All action points reset at the start of your turn. In the meantime, it'll be the Decepticon's turn to move and fight back. Okay. Bumblebee, can you hear me? Windblade, is that you? Hey, glad to hear Ratchet finally fixed your voice box. I'm on my way. Head north. But the Shadow Striker is closing in on your sector. Whatever you do, don't let... Don't let what? Windblade? Oh, Hello? shit. Uh, okay, human. It's you and me. No, don't sound too happy about it. Look out, human. There's a Decepticon scout just ahead. Instruct Bumblebee to approach. Remember... Moving short distances will use one action point. Moving longer distances will use more. Yeah, we would, are Let's move. Right, before I do anything, let's see if I can just change that invert camera, because I didn't mean to do that. There we go, that's better. Um, right, so, yeah, so moving here, we'll just use one point, as you can see in the bottom left. Moving here, we'll use two points. And moving any further, we'll use all three. So it obviously wants us to stand here. No so we won't be able to attack on this turn now. Aha, gotcha. They're closing in. Fortunately, Bumblebee has a few hidden tricks. Okay. The Stinger is a special ability. You can boost its power level by increasing the amount of action points used to attack. Oh, well, we can't Equip do anything yet. Power can level, we? then attack the Decepticon. All right. Okay. So it's our go again. So at uh, the bottom. We have the Stinger 1, which will do melee 2 damage and chance to disarm him and anchor him. Stinger 2 will do 3 damage and chance to disarm and anchor. And Stinger 3 will melee, shove, 3 damage and a high chance to disarm him. So let's do that one. So it took off 3 damage, but I don't Perfect. think it disarmed him. Certain attacks may also inflict a status effect, if you're lucky. Uh, select the Decepticon with square. So he's been anchored, so he's unable to move for one more turn. And we did disarm him as well, so he's unable to attack for one turn. Uh, but he can still use his special move. It's fine. Oh, he's brought a friend with him. Hi, guys. 
How's it rolling? Oh my, Bumblebee's surrounded. Well, he's not really surrounded, is he? They're both in front of him. This indicator shows how many Decepticons are nearby. Use Bumblebee's blaster and stinger to fight them back. Cons, watch your bumper. Okay, so it's reset my point again. <laughs> um, so there's three Decepticons. We've got one up here, uh, one there, and one there. So maybe if we do a big blast at him, it'll knock into him. Let's see if that's a thing. Right, so we can't do number three because you've got to be close to do number three. But number two would kill him. I want to do number three, though. Can we move there? If we move there, it's not going to... Is he going to use a point? It will use a point, so we won't be able to shove him. And neither of these shove apart from that one. Right, we'll just take him out. It's fine. Yeah, got him. It's okay, he still can't move, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh no, is he going to shoot me? We've got plenty of health, so it's fine. Weapons active. Right, let's um, shoot him. And then, can we shoot him as well? No, you can only shoot once, can't you? Right, let's um, go and take cover behind my house. And then, internal triangle. That Decepticon have a female voice. Okay, so now we can take out him. Yeah. And then we just need to wait for our next turn. Okay, conveniently standing right next to me, so I can use that one on you. Yeah, it was a woman. Okay. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Shadow Striker? Is that you? What's left of me after you blew me to pieces? Okay. What do the Decepticons want? Why attack the city? Oh, Megatron has big plans, but I wanted to see you personally. Oh? Deactivated. <laughs> oh. After countless cycles, you're mine. Is that our first boss battle? Buildings will protect the Autobots from incoming fire, so they can attack from safety. Okay. Okay. Right, so we're currently hid behind this building. So what kind of attack can we do? We can do none of the specials. We can only do a normal attack. So it's going to take two off yeah. it anyway, so that's fine. That's not fair. You could turn into a car. Hmm. Shadow Striker's moving for a clear shot. Switch Bumblebee's position before she attacks. Okay, can I okay, turn into a car? Human. It's all on you. Protect Bumblebee and defeat Shadow Striker. Cons, watch your bumper. Okay. So we want to. What's R1 do? Or oh, R1 does them, and R2. Switches a bot, but there's only one of us. So we want to hide behind this building on this side, and then shoot her again. There we go. <laughs> Let's end turn. Now she'll probably move again. No, she just stood there. That's fine by me. Let's just shoot again. Let's see what it does now. Okay, that's that's um, not too bad. If we move here, we should get a direct shot on her. Now, obviously, I am playing it on easy, and this is just the first level, so it's just to show you the mechanics and how it works. Uh, but later on, you do have control of multiple different transformers in the same level. Um, which can transform into various uh, different crafts. 
and obviously the levels will become much harder and more varied and much bigger. And from what I remember, it does get quite hard towards the end the of the game as well. Scout, taking orders from a human. We're a team. We're survivors. So, what's your grand plan? Your four wheels against the Decepticon fleet? Uh-huh. Exactly. Four wheels, two wings... And one blade. Oh. Shadow Striker. Meet Stormfall. Ugh. Next time, Bumblebee. <laughs> oh, this is bad, B. Decepticons are swarming the city. They can only be after one thing. The Allspark. Well, if it's a race they want. Speed won't solve this. We're outnumbered. We gotta be smart. No surprises. Is that a human? Yes. I've enlisted some local knowledge to navigate this congested alien habitat. Plus, they totally saved my spark. <sighs> Fine. They can tag along. Just until we find Grimlock. And B, it's great to see you. Let's move. Yay. That's the first level done. A thousand spark points unlocked out of a character. And now we can go to the next mission or replay the mission. Let's have a quick look at the next mission. Yeah, so in the next mission, as you can see, now it's giving us um, Bumblebee and Windblade. And again, you can change the clothing, or the skins of the, um, of the other character. What you can also do as well is change... Uh, I think you can change the attacks and that, but... That comes much later into the game where you can upgrade your your transformers and purchase new weapons. Uh, what I'm going to do though is have a quick look at the arcade mode, see if I can remember what this is. So it recommends you complete your first three story missions. I, I'll continue, that's fine. So is it two player only? No, you can do one player or two player. They've got Capture the Flag, Decepticon Drud uh, Grudge Match. Uh, I can't say that word. Energon, Capture, Last Stand, Destruction, and Cube. So, Capture the Flag is um, capture the Decepticon flag and return it to the Autobot base three times. Deactivated Autobots reappear after one turn and Decepticons after three turns. The Grudge Match is play as a squad of four Decepticons and take on two Autobots. Uh, the capture is capture and defend the Enagon or deposits over 10 turns. Deactivated Autobots reappear after, reappear after one turn and Decepticons three turns. Last Stand is battle a never-ending Decepticon army, fight to the last. Destruction is deactivate as many Decepticons as possible in 10 turns using four Autobots, repairs every five turns. And Cube is it's cube time. Keep possession of the cube to rack up points and win the match. Now there is a DLC pack out as well which adds a new mode I believe or it might be more missions for this one. Uh, I can't remember what it is but it's like £7.99 and it has a bunch of new trophies to obtain. I've not got that DLC pack yet um, but it does look interesting so if you do like the game and you want more content you can pick up that on PSN and I think it's also on the other platforms like Xbox, Switch, and PC. Uh, but let's have a quick look at. Should we do Last Stand? Battle of Never Ending Decepticon Army. Let's do this one. Okay, so it's giving us. Is that Arcy or Arky? Uh, Windblade, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee. Now we can change them out, as you saw there. We've got Wheeljack and Grimlock. So they're the other two that we can pick between at the moment. Let's change Optimus Prime to um, Battle. And we'll just put that one on Gold as well. Uh, we'll keep those default characters and we'll just have a quick look at this. So it's a fight to the death on this one. So I don't know how long we'll last. So this is it, the last stand of the Autobots. There's no victory to be found here. Just keep the Autobots active as long as possible and destroy as many Decepticons as you can. Decepticons appear in waves. When a wave is defeated, you will have a limited number of turns before the next. Uh, quickly reposition and repair. 
Earn bonus points by surviving waves, damaging multiple enemies at once, and destroying huge number of Decepticons. Good luck, human, for Earth. Okay, so this looks like an endless mode. It's not the best mode to pick to play this game on for for showing you what it's like. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll just play a few turns. Right, so this one is that Arcy or Arky. Um, we've got uh, Bumblebee there. We've got the um, Optimus Prime in that one. And that's that Windblade. There. Right, can you not shoot? Oh, it's you in it. Let's do Bubble Bee next. Optimus Prime, let's put him there. Volatile. And this young lady can stay where she is. Oh, I moved her by accident. Right. Let's put her there. <laughs> Because the other person was over here, which is nowhere she could have reached, so that's fine. Yeah. Now, is it going to let me do special moves? Yes, as you can see down here at the bottom, you've got these two special moves at the end of the bar. So this one, in this case, is throwback, um, which is moved and attack, massive shove for three damage. Moved and attack, massive shove for five damage and disarm. That uses an EP points so EP50 and EP100 I believe that is the Energon points on the left hand side near those faces and I think you build that up as you attack and kill the enemies I can't remember let's just see if that makes it go up yes it went up a little bit there so as you kill people or as the turns go on your EP goes up which allows you to then do the bigger attacks May as just keep skipping these because there's no enemies. Okay, so here's a few more now. These are very easy because obviously I put it on easy, but they do get a lot harder <laughs> in the main game. Um, Optimus. Now I would hide behind this, but it's just a fence that will just easily get destroyed. So it is a bit pointless doing that, but may as well. You can't really hide behind it either because you are about a 20 foot monster, um, machine, not a monster. Let's just end the turn. And like I said, some of the, um, the Transformers can turn into cars. Uh, I think some can turn into a tank. Uh, and there's also a plane one as well, and some others as well. But yeah, but that's um, that's the basics. Basically, it is XCOM, but with the Transformers. Um, now, this game did fly under a lot of people's radars when it first came out, late last year, I think it was, or early this year. Um, but it is a very fun game. It's The Platinum's not too hard to get as well, Platinum Trophy. Uh, it does take a little bit of grinding, I believe. Um, but overall it's fairly simple to obtain um, and it's a really fun game, it's enjoyable, it's quite long as well uh, from what I remember, the campaign I'm pretty sure it took me about 15 hours or so to complete uh, there's loads of characters to collect, different skins, different abilities it's really fun, if you have any questions about it though, let me know down below um, hopefully you enjoyed the content, I'm going to be starting to take a look at more games that I've had for a while that people may not know about and then post them on here also to, to showcase the game and also show how they run on the PlayStation 5 because if you've not noticed uh, this game is um, recorded at, 10, at 4k and 60 fps the game itself may not be 4k and 60 but the recording is so it shows you what the game is like on the PlayStation 5 console even if the game isn't running at above a 1080p resolution but you should see it perfectly but yeah, any questions or anything, let me know down below and I'll catch you later.